In the Philippines, there are a few remarkable practices that highlight the Filipino character of being open, trusting, and sometimes gullible. And these practices sometimes involve money. Just like the age-old tradition that we refer to as Paluwagan. Paluwagan is definitely not about comparing the size of your clothes nor of your loose skin. Have you ever been invited to join one? Uy, bes! Sali ka na, may paluwagan ako! Mukha naman ka trustworthy, di ba? If you don't have an idea of what a paluwagan is, let me break it down for you. Paluwagan is a form of money lending where you, your friends, your co-workers, or whoever you know, form a group of at least three members. Each one of you agrees to pay money to the group regularly as scheduled. Then, you appoint a collector. So, let's say Emilio here decides to start a paluwagan and invites his friends at work, Juan and Maria. Emilio, Juan, and Maria have been close friends for a while now. So, there's some degree of trust involved here. For the first week, everyone will pay 1,000 pesos and pull 3,000 pesos, which Emilio will receive. Then, the same process for the second and third week, taking turns as to who will receive the money. In this case, it will be Juan and Maria, respectively. Wow! It's like a merry-go-round! But instead of riding on a horse, you're riding on risk. Risk, you say. How pessimistic of you. Ang mega mo, ha? Before you raise your eyebrows on me, let me explain. Unknown to most people who join Paluwagan, it is not the most reliable method of saving out there. Most of the time, it is a risky gamble. It is more of a gamble in a sense that there are no measures to make people accountable. Here are the risks you should consider. 1. Your Paluwagan group may be composed of friends you know. But without the necessary background checks, you can never really tell if Juan and Maria have the financial capacity to fulfill their obligations to the group. 2. Most of the time, these paluwagans do not involve any trained financial managers. The collectors are not required to have any expertise in terms of handling money. 3. Government agencies such as the Department of Trade and Industry and Securities and Exchange Commission have both issued warnings on joining paluwagan. These paluwagan groups are not controlled, regulated, and monitored. They run through a mix of trust and gullibility. You let other people handle your money without any guarantee. None is formally recorded and all agreements do not involve any contracts. Living life dangerously, eh? So, anytime, 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 the collector or any member of your Paluwagan group can either run away with your money or disrupt the whole system by not paying. Oh look! There he goes with your money. Oh, he runs fast. Run free, dear friend. Ghosting is real and it can also happen in Paluwagan and not just in romantic relationships. <laughs> Don't tell us we didn't warn you. Be careful with your money and not just your heart. So next time Emilio invites you to join a Paluwaga, time Emilio invites life, take you laugh. <laughs> One dependable way to manage your money is to consult a professional financial advisor. To know more about different ways of saving safely and effectively, visit www.prulifeuk.com.ph